Welcome. Today, I wanted to show you how you can use your iPhone as a GPS locator for your Python projects. So you can pull live real-time GPS data from any iPhone iCloud account. So there's a few reasons why you might want to do this. More of the most popular one might be that you can add location-based triggering to your Python projects and scripts. So maybe here's some real use case examples. So you can, for example, send live location uh, to a website. Uh, you can log your mileage into an Excel spreadsheet. You can send a text when you leave or arrive at a certain location. You could even create like a motion sensor for your motorcycle uh, or like a spare GPS tracker. If you have a spare iPhone laying around, you can use that as like a GPS tracker. So uh, it's really, really easy to, to use and let's get right into it. By the way, I'm leaving all the code and the links to everything in the description. Take a second to follow me so you can stay up to date on my latest videos. Thanks. So uh, the name of the package is this guy here. It's Pi iCloud, all right? Really easy to use. So if you have never used before, you're gonna need to install it using pip, pip install Pi iCloud, very easy. I'll put that in the description. Um, so I've already done that. So basically the way you set it up is these two lines of code right here. One imports the package, the other um, does an initial API call and stores the data to a variable called API. So I hit shift enter and there you go. So now I have this, uh, da this uh, data package called API, all right, that has a bunch of data from my iCloud account. Um, and whenever I wanna refresh that data, I'm gonna have to um, you know, make another API call. But inside that, inside that um, you know, there's, there's a lot you can do inside that package. So here's one example. I can actually play a sound on my iPhone. I hit shift enter and there it goes. Well, it's on silent mode, but it's vibrating. Um, that was very anticlimactic, I apologize, but it did work. Um, so an, another thing you can do is you can actually, you know, uh, see all the different devices attached to your iCloud account, and then you can choose a specific device, in this case, uh, my iPhone 12. Uh, and then you can get the location of that device by just, you know, doing a quick little call, uh, quick little method right here called location. And it gives you, you know, GPS coordinates, longitude and latitude for your iPhone. And um, yeah, you can get the status, including like your battery level and stuff like that. You could make a bot that would send a text message to somebody if your battery is low, for example, and you're at a party and you can't find each other, who knows? So that's it. I wanna just take a second to show that, have, that iPhone has this really cool feature and this is a really awesome package for uh, Python called Pi iCloud. If you are interested in learning about Python and different automation projects or getting a job in tech, follow along. I'll be talking more, a lot more about that. Thanks for watching.